Hey, what is up guys? And today we are back in Car Mechanic Simulator for another rebuilding video. So in the last video, we rebuilt the McLaren F1. So if you haven't watched it, you guys should go back and watch that. Because that was a very fun build. But today we have this car and you may not be able to recognize it. But if you can, then you know what this is. If you don't know what this is, this is the Apollo IE. Not very good at the Italian names here. But the 2018 Apollo IE, or Intensa Emozion. Again, I'm not great with the Italian, but I, I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm not sure. But it has a V12 in it, producing 667 horsepower, 464 foot-pounds of torque. And today, I'm going to be rebuilding it. So, I think... Let's get on the lift. And see... What's happening with this car. Alright, so now the car's on the lift. Let's take out the window. And the doors. And this rear bumper. The clamshell. The taillight. I believe that is all we can really take off of this car other than these fenders. Yep, yeah, it seems to be about everything. So now that all the body panels are off the car, we can go ahead and lift it up all the way. And we can finally get underneath it, take off all the wheels, and take off all the suspension. So as you can see, we've taken out all the suspension, and as you kind of saw, I actually took out the gearbox. I, I, did, not, I did not mean to do that, but uh, as you can see, it just kind of happened. So we're going to roll with it. So now we can go ahead and put the car on the ground. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this, but I have to get into the engine. Um, this part I'm not going to speed up. I'm going to actually try to get into the engine bay. Oh, I found it. So you have to go underneath this bumper, and you have to crouch. And then you can get into the engine bay. That is... That's a yikes. I'm going to try to put in the stuff that I have now, because I do not want to have to come back in here for any reason. And there we go. So all that stuff's in. Now we can go ahead and try to fix up everything and then fix up the car. Alright, so as you see I fixed up the car and I fixed up as many parts as I really could. So let's go ahead and put on the parts that I have currently for this car. Alright, so I'm going to quickly go to the garage and see if there's anything in there. Alright, so we are back. There was nothing in the warehouse. So that's kind of unfortunate. But there's nothing we're going to be able to really do about it. So let's go ahead, sell some of the stuff that actually broke. Alright, so 
let's go ahead and try to buy some of the parts for this car. So I know we put these on, but I bought a lot of carbon fiber pieces for this car to make it look just a little bit more aggressive. Alright, I have to say... The carbon pieces look way better than those purple ones. Like the car just looks so much better with all the carbon, like exposed. Because in real life, this car is full carbon. It's just painted carbon. All right. Uh, anyway, right. let's go ahead and get the engine out of the car. So let's grab that crane, move it over, and let's rip the engine out. All right, now let's go ahead and do the suspension work. suspension pieces those rear wishbones and then of course the actual brake pieces we are done with the suspension so we can drop the car down and start to get to work on the engine <laughs> completely tore down let's go ahead and fix up all the engine pieces that I can all right so I fixed up as many engine pieces as I can so let's go ahead and buy all the pieces I'll need and get a bunch of performance parts get this full engine rebuilt and see how much power this thing can put down <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
engine is done, we're ready to take it off of the stand and put it back in the car. Alright, so now while we're here, let's go ahead and put the transmission in the drive shafts and everything. <laughs> transmissions back in and the drive shafts are back in we can drop the car back down and we can go ahead and build the suspension <laughs> are on and the fitment is quite good we have to go ahead and put oil in the car and I have to try to do it without taking off this rear bumper I don't think it's possible so unfortunately we're gonna have to take off the bumper so I can put oil in the car <laughs> in the car we can go ahead and put the bumper right back on and now we can move this car over to paint okay now that the cars in paint we can go ahead and get a look at how good the fitment is in the front and the rear because it is very very good now let's go ahead and paint the car now, I could keep it this purple, but on the parts that are carbon fiber, it's actually darker. So, I might honestly keep it black. Yeah, I like the black. All right, let's go ahead and put on the dyno and see how much power this car will make. Okay, 1,147 horsepower and 733 foot-pounds of torque. I feel that's, that feels pretty right for this car. Alright guys, and that is the car completely 100% done. All I had to do was put in this steering wheel, and that was it. But this is the car completely done. Fully 100% completed. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more. Now, as I always say, 
I will see you guys in the next episode.